Welcome back to Caroline and Rashi. I'm Caroline. This is not Rashi. This is Sharon. <laughs> Thanks Hi. so much for jumping in last of minute course. again. Thank You're you such for a good sport. I know. I try to be. You know, I do like coming on the show. It's really fun. Oh, I we're enjoy glad it a lot. You. But I also wanted to ask, how is your apartment? Because you guys know, yeah that was a thing yesterday <laughs> oh so i told you i've been updating you guys the hurricane came monday mm -hmm. tons of rain got in my apartment water from the ceiling around the top floor the next thunderstorm came through yesterday and it got 10 times worse so that was okay. cool i was emailing the complex being like hey it's gonna rain it's gonna rain is yeah the, do you have the roof rigged like are we gonna get leaks well Apparently it wasn't rigged good enough and water came pouring in. Mm -hmm. And then the complex is like, this is so bad. Like you need to get out. We have another two bedroom. So okay. I got that call yesterday, right before this show. Mm -hmm. And as of me walking into work today, we okay. are fully moved out. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like everything everything weird we did bulk of it in about five hours oh. it was insane and then in the middle of all this mm -hmm. i had gone home for the fourth of july and brought yeah. my golf clubs mm -hmm. and then we flew back southwest direct flight mm -hmm. we had to go to dallas because then i had to run a car and drive back here so this week has been <laughs> insane, insane. <laughs> so anyway my golf clubs didn't make it to Dallas. Okay. And so they got sent, or I thought they got sent, to Houston. Mm -hmm. So I get a text, like, you know, five days ago now um, that my clubs had arrived. And okay. you have five days to pick them up. So today, would have, they would have been there today. And then I guess, like, I don't know what happened. Five days then. from today, you could have picked them up? Five days from Monday. I oh, okay, gotcha. So I was planning on, like, getting them today or tomorrow or whatever. Mm -hmm. Well, I get a text this morning. and I don't have Wi-Fi in the new unit yet. Okay. And it was like, we regret to inform you. And I couldn't like click the link. And I'm thinking that they got rid of my golf clubs, yeah. which I literally, that was the thing that sent me over the edge. I've been so calm, so cool, so collected. Tarian, I was would be my screaming. last I was <laughs> <laughs> And so I go run in the middle of like, I'm like, I just got up. It's pretty early in the morning. Like, it's okay. Like, what do we need to pack? What do we need mm -hmm. to do? And then I think that they're getting rid of my golf club. So Stop. boyfriend's on the phone with trying to get a hold of Southwest baggage. And mm -hmm. they were like, oh, no, 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 no. That's not the case. I'm already well off to hobby at this point. <laughs> That's not the case. We made a mistake. We yeah. said that her clubs had got here a couple days ago. They didn't. They just arrived this morning. Oh, why? I feel like you shouldn't start an email off with I regret to inform well, you. Well, <laughs> if I would have had Wi-Fi... I would have like been able to click the link. Oh, and so that's so my, what it was. Yeah, okay. and so my phone was like not working. Mm -hmm. I don't even think I was really getting text messages because I didn't have Wi-Fi and it's always like really spotty in yeah. the building that I live in without Wi-Fi. Mm -hmm. And so I just thought that like they were getting disposing yeah. of my belongings. See, that's what, when you said that, that was my yeah. thought too. I was like, they got rid of her golf clubs. I know, I and I was like ready to fight for you. I was I, like, I was, no. no. I was ready to fight. I was. <laughs> like literally I screamed that was like the first time yeah all this that I like finally got so frustrated mm -hmm. so anyway I still went and got them okay. and they gave me a flight voucher that's, because of the inconvenience but that's decent but okay least. if I would have I would have been mad that I, I had just gotten a new golf bag which mm -hmm. has my name on it and my social oh, media cool I have two pretty new wedges mm -hmm. like 60 degree and 56 degree they're pretty expensive golf is just like an expensive sport it is that's why i also knew when you said that i was like yeah she just got them i was like even like my range finder which is like this thing that you shoot the the distance mm -hmm. and it gives you slope and all this information yeah. like oh cool. those are like 250 dollars yeah. and that in there i wouldn't have been as upset about my woods because those are old my irons are still okay but that would have been just that would have been a couple thousand dollars in losses. That you just if, lost. Yeah. So anyway, we got them. So they're okay. Yay, we got them. <laughs> and then I grabbed Starbucks and ran it back. And mm -hmm. it was just from that point on, it was go go go. Like okay. we literally packed up my whole place in five hours. Dude, that's actually pretty impressive to pack up a whole apartment. Because I feel like me personally, it would have took me like at least a day. It was like well, we were trying to beat the rain today too, mm -hmm. because it's gonna rain again, and we didn't know if they're roof was going to hold up and yeah. so it was Ooh, just trying that would to, stress me out as yeah. well it, insane thank mm -hmm. goodness my boyfriend jumped in and like helped me so much or okay. i don't know Aww. i don't know what would have happened i love that yeah at least it, you had someone there yeah. i feel like that's also like in these situations like that would add stress if like you had to deal with it by yourself oh my gosh but at least you had someone to just like you know bounce off 
yeah with yeah i think i think that that's why relationships partnerships whatever mm -hmm. they really are um such a blessing in so many ways because yeah. at least you have that one person because my parents were feeling so bad they're like you know like if, obviously like if if you lived a car ride away even if it was like a five six hour car ride would we would there. we would be yeah. here we'd be helping you it's but like it states away it's a yeah i mean by the time they would have gotten here today even if they would have like booked a last minute flight like mm -hmm. we would have already been gone moved yeah. out yeah exactly <laughs> so it's like what's the point so um yeah it's mm -hmm. been it's been a real whirlwind oh my god yeah yeah i feel like from monday till now you've just been like <laughs> i i was so positive until the freaking golf club <laughs> that sent me over the edge that would be like but the last straw like i can't do it anymore it was crazy because <laughs> i walked in here i was a little bit late because mm -hmm. we were literally like the movers were leaving the cleaning people were there i'm trying to find anything to jump in the shower with like soap and yeah. like just what I needed because like everything's in boxes yeah so exactly I couldn't even find a toothbrush and so I was a couple minutes late but as soon as I got here and I like sat down like I got this headache Stop. right here because it's just been such, such like, a, much, like you haven't had time to just sit down yeah. and breathe and just rest it's like um you're in survival mode I guess mm -hmm. you know and exactly like, you're just, and then I was like whoa 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 but anyway Girl. that's my update is everything okay. good with you guys yeah everything's okay, good. fine <laughs> <laughs> you do your i'm like your yeah like i'm cool <laughs> yeah okay good all right so yeah we're Woo. all fine at my house and the, the thing is it's like this is my very first hurricane so it's yeah. just like and whoa so, like, when you add when you think about that add it on to it i'm just like this is not like no hurricane is a good experience but this is like the worst i think experience for someone like yeah like, i mean i'm just think we cover a lot of sad stuff yeah regarding the hurricane so at, at this point like I said, until the golf club saga, I mm -hmm. was like, I'm just happy to be alive. Yeah. So <laughs> I still am happy to be alive, yeah. but I had no freak outs. I was calm. I was mm -hmm. just like making the phone calls, getting the Wi-Fi switch, like calm. Yep. Like, everything's fine. And, and then, then those business. golf clubs sent me over. You get that call. You're just like, oh, okay. I know. Right. <laughs> so anyway, well, and we are going to talk about this interesting um, business that yeah. actually honestly i think i would shell out for sometimes okay it is basically people who are not willing to spend time waiting in line well this company has a solution for you if you live in new york city they call themselves the same old line dudes they're professional line waiters and they'll wait for you at restaurants stores ticket booths whatever the group founder got the idea for the business when he was fired from his job in 2012 and 13 years later he and his team have grown into a 35 worker lineup on any <laughs> given day what do you think about that i love that i yeah. think that's a genius idea right? because i'm not gonna i think about that sometimes i'm like dang i wish i had somebody to just like yeah stand like in Apple line for me something? exactly oh my God. restaurants like even for like concerts just stand in line for me and i like when the time comes and i get there like i feel like that's amazing whoever thought of that like impressive i know very right? impressive i wonder if they could like do that in disney world or something like oh if i bought gosh. them a ticket because there's yeah. like some rides you cannot get a fast pass for no. and so <laughs> it's like i would love to okay you stand there, there. and then somehow i'm gonna find you in line and then you're gonna leave and i'm gonna take your spot exactly it'll probably cause a lot of issues but i was thinking that but i feel like even so the point of the matter is like somebody was in that spot it doesn't matter if it was yeah. me or like so i right. had somebody hold it for the right. point is like as the long spot as is they're there. not like staying in line yeah like i see what you mean like they're mm -hmm. gonna leave you're gonna take your spot exactly so it's not like i didn't cheat anybody yes say. but what a business way to get yeah. um creative whenever That's you lose a job we need this here in houston i feel like we sure do because houston like everything's long restaurants like yeah we need this oh here. yeah yeah it can be mm -hmm. for sure especially in the populated areas yeah apple's like all right we'll be with you in three hours and it's like why why i know why? they have like all those chairs in there i hate like oh whenever i pass by an apple store and i see the line i say yeah, i know today. i know not, not, today. <laughs> not today all right we'll be right back
Welcome back. Terry and I have been itching to talk to you guys about this one. <laughs> yes. This is so, we were talking about it yesterday at my desk and I was like, okay, it's in the show tomorrow. Yeah. Kim Kardashian, she just never disappoints. She's just the latest celebrity to get a salmon sperm facial. Apparently, Jennifer Anderson previously discussed this type of treatment, but this all came to light in a recent Kardashian episode on Hulu. And I haven't gotten to this episode yet, but Kim says to her mom, I got a salmon sperm facial, sperm injected right into my face. Oh, MG <laughs> Kim. God. How do you even get sperm from salmon? And how do you even come up with this? I know salmon is good for you to yeah. eat, but oh my goodness. I had so many, when I first saw this, I was like, there's absolutely no way. This is a real thing. It's oh real. Oh my gosh. I, okay. I, Cause yeah, I was like, first of all, <laughs> where are you getting the sperm from? Like how? How? Like. And why are you injecting it into your face yeah. is the part where I was like, okay, look, Ooh. look, yeah. I know salmon's good, like amino acids and all that, but girl, people come up with a, everything I feel like to just like keep looking young. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I understand it obviously, but like, this is like a whole different level. This of is crazy. Like salmon sperm. I've never heard of this before. Now, Kim Kardashian, it was like two years ago. Mm -hmm. She did the vampire facial with PRP mm -hmm. and since then, I've gotten several of those done. Oh, really? And yeah. I had never heard of it until Kim Kardashian like did it. Mm -hmm. And then it gained a lot of popularity. And then all the med spas that I go to yeah. um, for like facials and different things, mm -hmm. they were always talking about it. And so oh. finally I was like, okay. Give so they that. take your blood out of your arm. They literally draw your bun blood. They yeah. spin it into what they call like a liquid gold. Mm -hmm. And then they punch like all these like holes in your face and then they smear the liquid gold all over your face Whoa. and then they put it in they put your liquid gold into like an injector injector thing and they mm -hmm. inject it all in your face it's supposed to like boost collagen build yeah. cells and like keep you young I got it like on my neck too mm -hmm. oh yeah do you like it like how many have you think you got um before? you're supposed to get three I've had two. Oh, okay so I need to go back to do one more but mm -hmm. your face kind of feels like sandpaper after but I mean Kim was the one that brought this to, to light, light. And then it kind of exploded. So yeah. now I'm wondering, <laughs> you go next when I time. go back to the med spa, am I going to be met with Caroline? Oh you need to try <laughs> the salmon sperm facial. facial. <laughs> okay, I will say I looked into this a little bit because I was like, there's no way. So it, it's not like direct salmon sperm. Okay. So it's like, I think it's like derived down into like some type of formula, they said. So it's not like okay. legit, legit, like direct salmon sperm. It's just like broken down. So I feel like that like makes but it not I'm as scary. Just like, how, what is the collecting part of that? Of the getting yeah that I could that I could not crazy. find. I don't That's know if bizarre. I want to know, but yeah, it's crazy. That mm -hmm. is so crazy. I will say though, remember Kim is in her mid forties and she, she looks is. amazing. She looks young, and I like I like how she and she gets lots of backlash from it. They all do. She's very open about. Mm -hmm how she wants to look young. Like she yeah. is so open about it. She's like, I will do anything I can to stay looking young. And I have to respect it. Like yeah. I have to respect so it. So many people are not <laughs> honest about yeah. it. And it's, they're just like, oh, just eat healthy and drink water. No, like no. Kim, <laughs> Kim invests. She invests into her youthful looking appearance yeah. and she's in her mid forties. Any facial that she can get to keep that skin looking young, like she goes for it and I'm like, go ahead. Like yeah. I have to like give her I for that. would love it if she would release like a year, like a yearly spreadsheet of like how much she spends <gasps> yeah. on, on, you know, be between Botox, fillers, mm -hmm. procedures, infrared lights, um, just yeah. everything that they that do. she had in that year, just like how often yeah, she did and it. how often, and then like oh. the cost. Like, I mean, I would bet. Let her drop like a little subscription plan, like a I, plan for it. She should, I would she love it should. if she did that. Cause I, I, I mean, she is very wealthy and very famous. Mm -hmm. I would think that she probably spends. A good, it's a good amount of money. Good but it's chance. like, yeah, if you want like high quality too, and just like really nice, like um, facials and services like that, like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Like yeah. Kim, if you're watching this. <laughs> she probably has a lot of it in her house too. Like a lot of the infrared beds that I'll yeah. go and like pay Those to use. Lights the lights and all that. She probably has mm -hmm. all that and, and all the like, um, I don't know, what are those things? That, like, like the M sculpt thing. Yeah, and, I know. Um, just all the different things. Like mm -hmm. I bet you, I mean, I bet it's Has it crazy. on standby. But yeah, I feel like she, she's definitely one of the celebrities who, like you said, gets backlash yeah. for it. But I mean, if you're, if we, can find these like 
types of things that we can do mm -hmm. to keep ourselves looking young, then like, I feel like we should take advantage yes. of going for it and doing Why it. <laughs> Why give me all the life. Why not? Give me the salmon sperm, sperm in my facials. face. I mean, why not? And also like the vampire one, I mean, like it's not, it's coming she directly even, from me. I mean, there's so. talks that she's even had like her hands done to get rid of, to make them look more youthful. Really? You can do that through different injections, this and that. Oh yeah. I, I mean, did not know that. I know, I know. See y'all, like, look. Crazy, it's crazy. <laughs> well, we'll be back in just a minute, and I want you guys to see this crazy reaction we had. I walked around the studio, and I talked to all of our Fox friends yeah. about Hurricane Barrel, so that's up next. Thanks for joining us. It's been a few days since Hurricane Barrel ripped through the Houston area. Well, here at Fox 26, we have some experienced veterans who have been through multiple hurricanes and others like myself who've just moved here in the last year and a half and went through our first hurricane. So let's go find out what our experienced veterans have learned and our newbies have learned through weathering Hurricane Barrel. Our 5 p.m. producer, Randy, has been through several storms in Houston, but what did you learn this time going through Barrel? This time I tried to be smart about it because I knew I had to be at work early Monday morning when the storm would be hitting, so I spent the night, Sunday night, at the station just to make sure I wouldn't have to drive through it, so that was the good thing. And I also, this time I got lucky and I had power. I didn't, I, when I went home Monday night, I still had power, so it was great. All right, all right, Marlin on the assignment desk, what did you learn this time going through Hurricane Barrel? Trim your trees. <laughs> That's the one thing. Uh, we have two trees at our house and two of the branches fell, one from each tree and caused a little damage. I mean, it's not bad. Our neighbors had a tree fall on their house, so we're okay. And then be prepared with a lot of gas because generators don't run cheap. Well, I'm glad you're safe. Producer Matt Horn, what did you learn after going through Hurricane Barrel? Uh, that dogs do not like going outside when it's raining. Do you have a dog and did it struggle going outside? I have two and I just waited until it went through. 
Were they okay? Oh yeah, they were fine. They were sleeping the entire time. Any tips for dog owners or pet owners when it comes to these hurricanes? Uh, be prepared, make sure there's enough food, enough water, and have a backup plan. Thank you. Our political reporter, Greg Grugan, he's an experienced Houston veteran. Greg, someone mentioned something about dogs? All right, I, I wasn't talking about this uh, until after, and I've been talking to some of the folks in the newsroom, but uh, after my first live shot in the wind, and you can see how that, that shed's about to buckle. And about 75, 80 miles an hour, we pulled out of there, and we're trying to get to 288, uh, which was underwater. Uh, and Carolina had to go to the restroom. Pulled over, saw an old... It was an, I thought it was an abandoned barbecue trailer. Went over there, kind of saddled up beside it, and was taking care of business. Um, I said, ugh. And out of nowhere, a hundred pounds of fury barking and coming straight at me with fangs flying. I took one step back, fell on my back, and then I heard the chain snap and a hundred pound pit bull couldn't get to me three feet away. I pulled myself up and ran to the truck. And, uh, you know, I've been counting my lucky stars ever since. I didn't know that, Greg. I'm so, I'm so glad that you're okay. Me too. I mean, you know, and it happened in a flash. Somebody had chained that animal inside the barbecue trailer as security. Uh, I, I thought it was kind of abusive to leave him out there in the middle of a storm. I had no idea. Uh, it was a surreal moment. Uh, and I'm pretty fortunate. He would have had the advantage. Uh, man on pit bull, pit bull usually wins. And so I'm feeling pretty grateful. And how long have you, have you been in Houston? You grew, you grew up here, right? No, I, I'm, I'm from Texas, but I've been at Fox 26 uh, since September of 2000. Awesome. Thank you, Greg. Glad you're okay. Jake, I hear you have some stories from Beryl. Yes, I do have stories. It was, it was actually a terrible time. Um, my whole area is out of power. We went um, up to Woodlands. We had friends that said they had power. Their power went out. The hotel we reserved didn't have power. They didn't tell us that. I'm still trying to get that money back. We go over next door, Navasota. Navasota's full. Every hotel's full. All the parking lots are empty. So we keep traveling. We go up to College Station. Another full hotel, but they say book online. That's how to get it. So we booked online. They were full still. They were over full. They were like, we're, your name's not in the system. So everything seemed to be going haywire. We eventually just came back to town. We stayed with a friend who had power. So it's been haywire. It's been crazy. Your tips for people going through a hurricane in Houston after experiencing this? I think a generator is probably a good idea. Definitely get a generator. That's probably it. <laughs> Thank you. What about you? Did you learn anything from Beryl? Um, I learned that HEV has service. And to if you have, don't have any service or need some power or food, find a grocery store because HEV was the only place that we went to. Family was trying to call us during the storm, but we didn't have any service. So we drove out and luckily once we got to the grocery store, people were calling. We were able to, you know, tell everyone that we were okay. But, you know, find some service if you can. <laughs> oh my goodness, how scary. What about you? Uh, so I came from Florida and we have a lot of hurricanes in Florida, so it's basically the same thing. But my question is, why don't Houstonians have shutters? hurricane shutters i didn't see any where in florida as soon as the hurricane is coming like everybody shuts up um but yeah otherwise everything was fine we had some damage we had some fence but um we're gonna be okay but i am curious about the shutters now i'm curious about the shutters i'll look into that thank you we are just so happy that our fox family is okay we know still so many people are struggling without power but i hope you enjoyed the stories from our fox 26 family i'm caroline collins fox 26.